In the annals of history, the Pig War stands out as a truly bizarre, yet not widely known, chapter in the story of man. It is the tale of how the killing of a wayfaring pig, almost caused a war between the United States and Britain. Dating back to 1846, the roots of this curious conflict can be traced back to the signing of the Oregon Treaty, between the United States and Britain. This treaty settled a long-standing border dispute between the United States and British North America, now known as Canada, over the territory between the Rocky Mountains and the Pacific Coast. The Oregon Treaty established the border between the two countries along the 49th parallel, a delineation that endures to this day. Nonetheless, matters were not as clear when it came to a cluster of islands southwest of Vancouver. The treaty stipulated that the border in the region would traverse the middle of the channel separating the continent from Vancouver Island. However, the position of these islands made clear demarcation challenging. Of particular significance, was San Juan Island, because of its strategic location at the channel's mouth. The island attracted both American and British claims to sovereignty, leading to the settlement of citizens from both nations. By 1859, the British had a notable presence on the island, emboldened by the Hudson Bay Company's establishment of a salmon curing facility and a sheep ranch. A group of almost 30 American settlers also made the island their home. Despite amicable relations between the islanders, a trivial incident escalated tensions in June 1859. A roaming pig, owned by Charles Griffin, an employee of the British Hudson Bay Company, wandered onto land owned by American farmer, Lyman Cutler. After Cutler noticed the pig rooting through his garden, and eating some of his potatoes, he shot and killed the animal. This seemingly inconsequential act triggered a chain of events that drew international attention. When Griffin found out about the untimely death of his pig, he confronted Cutler, who offered $10 in compensation for the dead pig. This offer was refused, with Griffin seeking 10 times that amount. When Griffin reported Cutler to the local British authorities, they threatened to arrest him, this angered Cutler's friends and neighbors, all American citizens, who then sought U.S. military protection for the farmer. The commander of the Department of Oregon, General William Harney, known for his anti-British views, soon sent a 66-man company, of the U.S. 9th Infantry, led by Captain George Pickett, to San Juan Island on July 27, 1859. Upon hearing the news of U.S. troops on San Juan Island, James Douglas, governor of British Columbia, dispatched three British warships, as a show of force. Over the course of the following month, both sides slowly increased their military presence in the area. The confrontation over the dead pig grew into a face-off between the U.S. military and British forces in the region, involving three warships, 84 guns and over 2,600 men. When both Washington and London learned of the escalating crisis, diplomatic negotiations ensued. This led to a temporary agreement whereby both sides withdrew the majority of their troops on the island. The British maintained a small force of 100 soldiers on the north of the island, while the Americans maintained a similar-sized force on the south of the island. In 1872, an international commission led by Kaiser Wilhelm I of Germany determined that San Juan Island would be solely under American control, finally bringing conclusion to the dispute. Today, remnants of this historic conflict can still be explored at the San Juan Island National Historical Park serving as a tangible reminder of what was undeniably one of the most peculiar stories in man's history.
Thanks for watching. Please like. Subscribe. And click the bell. Stay tuned for more videos, coming soon.